This spring, you barely found me indoors, despite being nine months pregnant. Though I was feeling very heavy and tired, I just couldn't resist the call of the wildflowers. I spent hours on the hillside scribbling in my journal, taking my mind off my aching limbs. I wrote down poems, I sketched fairies and gnomes, I detailed my thoughts and some fears, letting it all out on paper. At length, I closed the book, put my pen away, and took the long way home through the lupin fields, letting things be. It gets easier every time. I've barely been online for the last several months as I've been recovering and figuring out how to be a parent. I did rewatch some of my early videos on this channel, now years old, and feel bittersweetness looking at a young woman in her early 20s, still so uncertain of what she wanted to do with her life and not sure how to heal her body and soul. My heart goes out to her every time. She stumbled throughout the years often falling back into old habits of unbalance and ill health. But eventually, she began to realize that she was tired of what she had been dragging along for so many years. It's hard to leave behind what is familiar, even if it causes you pain. But things are different now. I'm happy to say that, because it's evidence that her only real purpose is to grow. I'm not sure what I'm doing and how I will be able to make videos juggling work and parenthood and everything in between. I have my hands full most of the time. Things are moving so fast and yet so very slow. It's hard to explain. It's like time has taken on a new meaning, pausing for long stretches, then speeding up at others. It forces you to let go of control and funny enough, that has brought me a great relief. I think so far one of the best things I've gotten out of this new stage of life is that, surprisingly, I've had a lot taken away from me. A lot of power I once had over little things. In the past, I could have dictated how my day was going to go, planning things out down to the hour if I so wished. All that's gone now. My time isn't just my own, it is shared. I've had to go with the flow of the day, accept unexpected changes of plans, to embrace sitting and doing nothing, then doing three things at once and feeling overwhelmed, and then laying in bed, watching over my little one in the middle of the night, when all is quiet and still. This forced surrender to the moment has actually been a gift, a demand to just exist in the present. The buzz in my brain is drowned out by a fervent need to focus on doing what I can minute by minute. I think we can all apply that a little more in our lives, no matter our present situation.
As you may have guessed, in this video I'm making drinking vinegars, or shrubs, which is a delightful syrup you can use in a variety of drinks. I only make drinks that are caffeine free as I haven't drunk any caffeinated drinks for a couple years. I used to be quite addicted to stimulants before I made some significant changes in my life. At that time I was not able to practice moderation, causing me to drink so much caffeine I would get incredibly anxious and skip meals and not sleep well. Realizing I couldn't limit my intake, I had to cut it out altogether, which was hard at first, but ended greatly helping my sleep and stress. While drinking caffeine is perfectly fine for most reasonable people, I was not one of those, and to this day I've enjoyed discovering fun and interesting drinks that are flavored without being caffeinated. This particular drink has a very tangy flavor that reminds me of kombucha. I thought I'd share this recipe down below to give you some ideas. I've had to make many adjustments in my life for my health over the last several years, but I absolutely still need to have a lot of treats, and that is crucial. And this one is the perfect refreshing recipe for a summer's day. I planted these as seeds last year and they never took and so I actually didn't uh, know if they were going to pop up or not in the new year because um, I think I would planted them a bit late and I was just so shocked and so surprised that they came up with so much vibrancy and, and in these few months when my baby is so young they still can't hold their head up so I just can't do as much gardening and I can't really do as many things as um, I did and while I'm gonna be able to get back to doing all those things once he can uh, be a little more sturdy and I don't need to worry about his fragility quite as much um, I still am enjoying these little moments where I can just see something in the garden and just really appreciate it and just find those little moments of excitement and beauty in just these kind of very quiet, slow days right now. And I have been thoroughly enjoying it. It is an adjustment. It's not always easy. Um, I've had my challenging moments. I've definitely had to cry it out a few times. But slowly but surely, with an open mind, I settled into this amazing new rhythm and this amazing way of life where, you know, things are just so different now. Um, everything's different now. Um, even how you think and how you function is different now. Um, so yes, small successes in the garden are not just exciting for me, but they are just 
an amazing event in the day as well. It's just extra, every little thing that happens from a blooming flower um, to a rainy day, all of it is highlighted. It's exceptional, it, it means so much right now, especially when I'm at home so much. So while this is a temporary time, it is a very sacred one, it feels like it at least, a very, very sacred time of going within, of nurturing yourself as well as a new human. And um, I've been uh, gaining a lot from it. It has not been easy, but so far in my life I've learned many things worthwhile are, are not easy. I have some new videos up on my Patreon, some items on my Etsy shop. I have always links down below to all the little fun things I've been up to. I'm sending you all so much love. Thank you for joining me here today on this very quiet day at the cottage. And I will see you soon. Goodbye.